Hi guys, Steve here. In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to buy Star Citizen. Now, this is the advice I give all my friends to help them, as it can get complicated. And you don't want to buy the wrong ship or game package, so I'm going to make things simple. First of all, you need a Star Citizen account. You don't have to buy anything yet, but if you aren't already signed up, click the referral link below to create an account, as you'll get 5,000 free in-game credits that you can use to buy cargo, put towards a weapon, spacesuit, or better equipment for your ship. So it's worth doing as it will give you a head start. Just click the link in the description box below. This will bring up the account creation page. So just fill in your info. Make sure the referral box has my code in it or you won't get your free credits. And when that's all done, click the enlist button at the bottom. Pause this video now, click the referral link at the bottom and create an account. But hold off buying any game package just yet as that's what I'm going to help you with next. Right, now you've created an account. Let's start. Star Citizen is split up between three main purchases. The first, Squadron 42, is an epic single player game with an all star cast. This will let you get used to the game, learn to fly, find out what's going on in the universe and play story missions revolving around you. It'll be like you being the star of a film. You do missions, fight battles and work your way up the ranks, letting you unlock permission to buy and fly some ships you might not be able to without it. Then you have game packages. You will need one of these to enter the main MMO online version part of the game, where you will enter the online Star Citizen universe with your friends and other players. This is the main part of the game that you'll play for years after you finish Squadron 42. The game packages range in value from around 50 bucks for a small ship to thousands of dollars for a huge one or many different big ones. But don't let that put you off as I recommend always getting the cheapest, but we'll come to that in a minute. There's a different selection of ships to pick from in game packages, and you'll need the game package itself to play with your friends and other people in the universe. Then we have standalone ships. These are just extra ships you can buy with real money or store credit that you can add to your account. We are add-on ships that you add to your game package. Say if you had a small fighter, but you also wanted to do cargo running, you can buy a standalone ship for freight hauling. If you just brought a standalone ship by itself and nothing else, you won't be able to get into the single player Squadron 42 or the main online universe. You're meant to get a main game package first, that'll get you into the game, then if you wanted to you can buy an extra standalone ship that you can use in the universe. When the game is finally released, you're meant to be able to earn all the ships in game. But some people like collecting fleets of ships, or they don't have time to earn them in game, so they're buying them now with real cash. Many standalone ships are only sold on special occasions, like anniversary or citizen con events that only happen once a year. These are called limited time ship sales. And then when new standalone ship designs come out for the first time, these are called concept ship sales, but I'll cover those later. Okay, now you know the basics, let's sort you out with what you want to buy. First decide what you want to do in game, a pirate, a fighter, bounty hunter, cargo runner, miner etc. If you're going for the cheapest package, this won't matter so much at the moment, as you'll be able to hold a little bit of cargo and fight small ships. Then you can earn money in game and buy yourself what you want and branch out in the profession. Or just get yourself a ship where you can do a bit of everything. Next decide how much money you want to spend. You can always start off with a small ship, then do missions and earn credits and work your way up to a bigger ship. But if you love the game and decide to spend a lot of money, as a rule it's better to buy one big ship than a few smaller ships as it's easier to earn down. That means if you get one big ship, say for cargo hauling, you can run missions to earn yourself lots of credits and buy yourself in-game the smaller ships you wanted. Instead of buying a few little ships, then only be able to do lower missions and in turn earning less money over time. Plus the smaller ships are easier to earn in game than the bigger ones. Say you might want to spend $200 on a big ship, and that's worth 10 million credits in game. If you had spent your $200 on two or three smaller ships, each ship might cost only a million credits each. So even though you spent the same amount of real money, the actual in-game worth of your ships is much less. And because you got smaller ships, the cargo you can haul or the missions you can do are a lot lower. So you would have to grind a lot longer to earn money than you would do with a big ship. And thanks for Info Runners for explaining that to me. 
Right, you've used a referral link to create an account. I would wait to buy a game package until a special Star Citizen event was on, like the Intergalactic Expo, Star Citizen Con, or an anniversary sale. As a game package you want might be discounted, and you will get years of ship insurance instead of just a few months. You will need a game package to play in the online multiplayer universe, the main part of the game. The ship in that package will come with ship insurance, so you get a basic ship replacement if yours gets destroyed. Normally small ships only get 3 months insurance, and bigger ships get 6 months. However, it's best to wait for a special sale event, that normally only happens once a year, because it could offer a package with years of insurance, or one with lifetime insurance. Plus those limited time sale ships now come with years of insurance instead of just a 6 month you expect with a bigger ship. They've said insurance won't cost much, so it's no big deal, but I don't think anyone believes them. They've also said that they're trying to make the game as realistic as possible, and if you played EVE Online you'll know that insurance costs quite a bit. There is a way to get lifetime insurance, otherwise known as LTI, so you don't have to worry about the extra cost or your insurance running out, but I'll tell you about that at the end. We'll start off as if you'd want to spend the least amount of money. If you're going to buy a package while there's no special event on, I would recommend getting the cheapest game package. I would also get Squadron 42 with it at the same time, as you will get a big discount if you get them both together. You don't have to get Squadron 42 if you don't want to, but you'll be missing out on all the background story and a hell of a lot of content. You'll learn to fly, get to know the universe, unlock special access to ships, which you should be able to fly in the online universe, so I'd strongly advise it. So yes, I'll definitely get a combo package with both Squadron 42 and a Mustang Alpha game package if you want the cheapest option. You don't have to get Squadron 42 if you can't afford it, but you probably wish you had later on because it's so heavily discounted. If you want to spend a little bit more, I advise getting an Avenger Titan, as it's a much better ship that can do everything for just a little extra cost. Because with a Mustang you might find it hard to fight the enemy, but with the Avenger it's a lot easier, plus it's got a lot more cargo space. If you can't see a combo package with the Avenger Titan, add it to your basket and check your shopping cart to see if it asks you if you want to add a combo package. That's what I advise if you're buying Star Citizen normally. The best cheapest package is a Mustang Alpha, but you might struggle with it. But if you can afford it, go for the Avenger Titan as it's a much better ship. And it makes starting off a whole lot easier. If there is no Titan package, then you can buy the Mustang combo package and upgrade it to a Titan. Honestly, get an Avenger Titan. It's just so much better than the cheapest starter ships. That's what I'd get, and that's what I'd recommend to all my friends. However, if you've waited to a special event sale, they may be offering a different combo package with years of insurance, and maybe at a discounted rate. Or if they brought out a new small ship, you might be able to get a game package with a ship that's got lifetime insurance. Like I said, it's best to wait until there's a special event sale on, as that might give you more options at a better price. Because normally if they do a discounted Avenger Titan combo package, with years of insurance at a discounted rate. I think the only reason why we haven't on this one is because they're offering the Nomad with lifetime insurance. Your buying priority is to get a game package with a ship with lifetime insurance, if that's too expensive, they're not selling any, or it's not for you, then look out for a game package that's named after the special event, as that one will give you years of insurance instead of just a few months. Like here, we have a Mustang Alpha combo package, we'll check that info and you'll see that it's only got 3 months insurance. Then next to it we have the Aurora combo package, and that also has only 3 months insurance. But if you scroll down, you'll find another Aurora combo package, but this one's named after the special event. Aurora MR Star Citizen Squadron 42 Combo Intergalactic Aerospace Expo 2950. Then if you click more info, you'll see that for the same price as the other, instead of only 3 months insurance, you get a massive 120 months insurance, which is 10 years. So in this case, definitely go for the named Aurora combo package, as there is no named Mustang Alpha equivalent. However, if you are willing to spend more money, this year, at the time of making this video, you could get the best package in this selection, because they've created a Nomad concept starter package, and that comes with lifetime insurance. That's a standalone game package, but if you scroll down, you will find they've also created a combo package for it, and it's even discounted. 
So when you're buying a game package, take your time, scroll down and look at all the other packages on offer, and click the more info box to check its details and see how long the insurance is. These are the different ship packages that are on sale at this event. In the future, they'll change and probably add more ships, so see what's best for you. That's actually covered if you wanted to spend the least amount of money. Now I'm going to talk about everything involved in buying bigger ships, plus other important information you need to know. That's concept ship sales, lifetime insurance, limited ship sales, and using all that to buy yourself a bigger ship. Concept ships. Star Citizen is always adding new ships. When a design is ready to sell for the first time, this is called a concept ship sale. At these concept sales, the ships have two main benefits. The first is that they're cheaper than they normally would be, and after the sale their price will go up. Plus you can buy one even cheaper with new money, and that's called a war bond version. But these can be only brought with cash, not store credit that you would have got from refunding ships. Sometimes war bond versions come with different skins as well. Plus some concept ships add extra bonuses, like helmets, spacesuits or extra skins. The second benefit, and one of the main reasons people buy concept ships, is that they come with lifetime insurance, commonly known as LTI. This means ships with lifetime insurance have free basic insurance forever and you will never have to buy it, possibly saving you lots of money and removing the risk of ever losing your ship. If it did get destroyed you'd get the basic ship hull and systems back, but if you've changed anything out for more expensive parts, or if you're carrying cargo, you don't get that back as you would have to take out extra insurance to cover that. Once a concept sale finishes, that ship is likely to be sold again once or twice a year on special events, but it won't have lifetime insurance anymore and its price would have gone up. Ships that have lifetime insurance can also be called LTI tokens. As people will buy small concept ships just for the lifetime insurance, to upgrade them to bigger ships later on, and give those big ships lifetime insurance when you can't buy them with it anymore. If you wanted to get a big ship, I'll be telling you how to get lifetime insurance on it, even if it doesn't come with it. Only the very most expensive ships will always have lifetime insurance. That brings me to limited time and limited amount ship sales that are only sold on special events like Intergalactic Expo, Citizen Con or an anniversary. Normally you can only buy from a small selection of ships from a Star Citizen website. You have a standard selection of game packages and then a standard selection of standalone ships. However, if you look at the ship matrix, you can see many different types of ships that you can't buy. These can only be purchased for a limited time from a special event, like the Intergalactic Expo, Star Citizen Con or an anniversary sale. And the events when you get limited time sales are only on once or twice a year. Also, at the same time, the biggest capital ships are sold in a limited amount, to keep their numbers down and to boost their sale price. Because these special event sales only happen once or twice a year, you need to plan ahead to which ship you want to get, and keep an eye out open for these sales. Because if you miss them, you might have to wait another year before you can get the ship you want. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and click the bell notifications on all, as I'll do a video and notify you when those special sales are on. Ship Upgrades it is possible to upgrade a cheaper ship to a more expensive one by going to the website's pledge store and then going to ship upgrades. Here you can select the ship you want to upgrade on the left. Then on the right you want to select the ship you want to upgrade it to. If a ship you want to upgrade to is available, it will let you select it and then tell you how much you need to pay for the upgrade cost. Then once you buy it, an upgrade token will be put on your account, and you can find those in your hangar. These upgrades are called Cross Chassis Upgrades, or CCUs. You only can buy upgrades to rare limited time ships when there is a special event sale on, which is once or twice a year. If Star Citizen isn't selling the limited ship at the time, you can't buy an upgrade to them. If you're selling a small lifetime insurance ship, and if you purchase a standard game package with only 3 months insurance, it might offer you an upgrade to the new concept ship, and give you lifetime insurance as well when you upgrade with cash. Look for a war bond edition upgrade to this ship, then go check out the upgrade. Scroll down and click on the two options available, and see if one of the options gives you lifetime insurance, which this one does. If this is available, you won't have to melt your original package with 3 months insurance, as you can get this bigger ship added to it with lifetime insurance. Refund and melting. 
After you've brought a game package, ship or upgrade, you can refund it after a short while for store credit. This is called melting. You melt your ship or melt your upgrades. Then you can use that store credit to put towards a new ship or buy an upgrade for your ship. Some things can't be purchased with store credit, like special event and game packages, or war bond ships. To buy those you'll need to spend new cash money. Melting can be useful, say if you've brought a wrong package, or if you've changed your mind about it. Like you've got a game package with only 3 months insurance on it. You can melt that game package for store credit, and buy a new event package with LTI or years of insurance on it. For new cash money, then use your store credit to buy a CCU ship upgrade and make your new event ship into a bigger one. And that leads us back to buying a bigger ship. Buying big ships. When it comes to buying a big ship, you have three options. The first I wouldn't do, and the second one is extremely rare. First, you can buy a large ship package anytime, but it's only usually got six months insurance. It comes with a lot of fluff, but you can earn all that in game. So I wouldn't do that. What's important to me, and probably to you, is that if you're spending hundreds of dollars, you want no possibility at all of losing your ship. You don't want to keep paying all the time for insurance, and you don't want the stress of your insurance running out and you forgetting to top it up. So instead of buying a standard big ship package, wait for a special event, then buy a combo package with lifetime insurance. If you can get one, because it's an extremely rare event. Then you can just buy an upgrade up to the bigger ship you want. That's the best and most cost effective way to upgrade to a big ship. That's if you can get a lifetime insurance package, as it's very rare they release a new starter ship bundle, and you only get the LTI because it's a concept ship sale as well. The third option, and the one you probably end up having to do, is to buy a cheap concept ship first with lifetime insurance, a standalone ship, then wait for an event sale to get the cheapest starter ship package, if you want to get the extra years of insurance on it. But if you're not bothered about the insurance on your smallest ship, and you desperately want to get into the game to play Star Citizen, you can just buy the cheapest combo package at any time. But let me explain in more detail. Start by finding out the price of a big ship you want, as you'll need to wait and buy a cheaper concept ship when it's on sale. This is the most important part, as you're only buying a concept ship for its lifetime insurance. You will be upgrading that concept ship to a more expensive one later on when it's available. And that concept ship has to be below the price of a big ship you actually want to upgrade it to. Because if a concept ship is the same price, or if it costs more than the big ship you actually want, then you won't be able to buy a CCU upgrade for it. And when you apply that upgrade to turn your small concept ship into the bigger one you actually want, the lifetime insurance of the concept ship will move over to your big ship. And that's how you get lifetime insurance on your new big ship, even when it normally doesn't come with it. There are more concept ship sales in a year than there are special event sales, where they sell the rare limited time ships. That's why it's best to buy a small concept ship when you can. And if you want the extra month's insurance on your small package ship, you'll probably end up buying a concept ship before your ship package, as you might have to wait a year to get a bonus insurance on that. Or like I said, if you can't wait to get into Star Citizen, and you're not bothered about the extra insurance on your small ship, you can get a cheaper starter package anytime. So whether you just want one small ship, or a bigger one, you'd be buying exactly the same starter combo package. Because you'll need that game package to get into Star Citizen and play the game. The only difference is if you wanted a big ship, you won't really care about a little ship as your main focus will be on the bigger one. The small ship insurance will be really cheap, so you can do this anytime you want really without having to wait for an event to be on. But I advise waiting for one just for the extra months in bonus insurance. And if you are selling a lifetime insurance combo package, I'd definitely get that to upgrade it to a bigger ship because it will save wasting a little ship that you're not going to really use. But if not, buy a cheaper concept ship with lifetime insurance whenever you can, then wait for a special sale event, go to ship upgrades on the website, select and upgrade your concept ship to the bigger limited ship you want, and then when you apply the CCU upgrade, it will convert your concept ship into the bigger one with lifetime insurance. I wouldn't apply the upgrade just yet, until just before beta starts, as you might change your mind and want to refund it for cash credit and buy a better upgrade later. You can keep buying upgrades to more expensive ships, but you cannot go back and remove a CCU from a ship you've already applied it to. 
where you can buy molten the entire ship but you'll lose that upgrade you applied to it and it's a real mess you don't want to do that it's just simpler to wait before you apply your upgrade only when you're absolutely sure you want to upgrade to that ship do you apply the upgrade or if you're really desperate to play with it Star Citizen normally unveils a new concept ship on a special event sale and that ship will have lifetime insurance but it may be bigger and more expensive than the actual ship you wanted. If that's the case you can't upgrade to a lesser expensive ship with CCUs. That's why you need to buy a smaller concept ship when you can and save it until you can upgrade it later. Like I said there's rare times on special event sales where they sell a new concept ship bundle with LTI and that is the best option you should be hoping for as you can just upgrade that small LTI ship to a bigger one. And that's the main things you need to know. So if this video has been helpful for you please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to use my referral link in the description box below to create your account so you get 5,000 free credits. Remember you don't have to buy anything yet and you want to get your in-game name before anyone else picks it. But don't wait too long before you buy a package because they usually go up in price each year. There is a lot of information in this video so you might want to watch it again so you completely understand it all. I wish you the very best and hope you have a good time in Star Citizen. Goodbye. If this video is helpful for you, please like, subscribe, click the bell notifications and all, and share it with your friends. There's links to other videos at the end. Comment on what you would like to see. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye.